Hello and welcome to another episode in our van build series. Today we're going to be talking about these, our cupboards. In last week's video we showed you how to make the frames and today we'll be talking about the doors. We have three sets of cupboards, we've got the main ones here, the small one above the fridge and we also have another one here just below the sink. And we're going to show you how we made all of those. One of the reasons we use tongue and groove cladding is because my uncle had some spare and um, we really liked the idea of it but we wanted to have these white frames visible around the edge to break up the wood colour a little bit and we really like how it turned out, we haven't seen that many people do it like this before so that's why we're making a video about it. We were originally going to use ply for our doors but we found out that it's quite prone to bending and warping and so we used this tongue and groove and another benefit of it is that it's really lightweight so it's going to keep the weight down. We already had the structure made for the sink so all we had to do first was cut the battens to size after measuring the inside of the structure and then over the top of that we laid the tongue and groove cladding and we marked off with a pencil where to cut. We cut it and then just screwed it on. We also added another piece of batten through the middle just to add extra support and also something we can put hooks onto to hang things on. <laughs> Next we moved on to this cupboard here, which as you can see is quite large, so we decided to go for two doors rather than just one gigantic one. We found the halfway point, just by using a tape measure, and then we made two frames to go on either side, one for each door, and we brought them in, tested them, made sure that they fit, and then followed the same steps as above to clad it. Since we're using eight millimeter tongue and groove, it's quite thin and prone to splitting when you drill it in. So to counter this, we just made sure to pre-drill a hole in it. That way, when the screws went in, they weren't gonna split the thing. We learned this the hard way because the first few we did, all went. When it was all screwed in, we stained it. We made sure to stain it before we actually attached it inside the van. And we used the same stain as we did for the ceilings and everything else. And that's just an oak wood stain. We did two coats of this before putting it back in the van and securing it into place. We originally wanted to use some hinges like this because they provide an invisible hinge so you never really see them but they didn't really work with our framework so we had to adapt and Dave found some in his garage that he's kindly let us have. To keep them shut we added these gold locks here and we really like how they turned out, they really match our colour theme. Since the tongue and groove is slightly raised from the frame we needed to put a little catch in the back for something for the door to close onto and we also had to put a little bit of ply underneath this lock and now it kind of fits perfectly in and it also doesn't rattle when we drive so we're really happy with that. Originally we really wanted to put a drawer here instead of a cupboard but because it was so easy to make the other cupboards we just thought oh we'll make a cupboard and then I had the idea to upcycle a drawer that my grandpa had in his garage which is this one here. So basically my dad helped me shorten it at the back and I just painted it, put a bit of PVC material in the bottom to keep it all clean and now it's our cutlery drawer. It's really easy compared to making a drawer with runners, it's just wood on wood but it works really easily so now we have a cupboard drawer kind of thing for our cutlery. And that's it for today so join us next time where we will be completing our units by putting on countertops, we're also going to make a sink and make our own taps. So join us then. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because our van is so close to being finished and we can't wait to show you. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.